Hello and good morning. Welcome back to Vlogmas. It is Vlogmas number 11. Grace and I are playing outside. She just gave me this little flower to put in my hair and uh, she's making me some pretend breakfast in her playhouse. Um, we've had a really... Oh, thank you so much. What is it? Mac and cheese? Mmm. Ooh, that's really good. It's Sunday and we've had like an a remarkably slow morning. It's actually like almost 11. Um, and so we've just been hanging out, having lots of family time. Steven just went to take a shower and uh, Grace and I are just still in pajama mode, but we did venture outside, so. Your tea's ready. Oh, my tea's ready. Thank you. Ready, Jonah? I am ready. Grace asked if we could watch Rapunzel, and you know what? Nothing sounds better on a lazy Sunday. Lazy Sunday. A lazy Sunday. Yeah, that's Mother Gothel's house. Sweep again and by the Yeah, she is singing. Steven just went upstairs for some video game time and I was like, now is the time we are straight chilling out here. Although at some point I I should take a shower. Eventually. Eventually. No, it's a tower. That's right. You'll never leave this tower. Hug me. So nice. Oh, she's pretending to be so nice? Yeah, but really she's selfish, huh? Hold on then. She's learning? <laughs> Maybe. Flynn Rider? Yeah, that's Flynn Rider. I meet him? You did meet him. Why? He was at Disneyland. He's still there? Yeah, he's probably still there. He had a meet and greet? Yeah, he did have a meet and greet. <laughs> We are back playing in Grace's nursery again after like a pretty long stretch watching Tangled on the couch. I feel like usually we watch movies in like, you know, 20 minute increments over the course of like a week. Just kind of pick up where we left off. Like we never really watch a movie in one sitting. She's like ready to go do something else. But we watched like almost half of that movie. And then she was like, hey mom, can we go play in my room? I want to feed my baby doll. So that's what we're doing now. Um, but that was really nice. And we've just had such like a, a chill morning. Steven's gonna come down in a couple minutes. Um, and then I think I'm finally gonna go take a shower and it's like noon. So it's, it's time. It's past time. What this carrot? Oh, she wants the carrot. Mm. So many carrots for baby. Put her to bed. Oh, we're gonna put her to bed? Okay. Night, night, baby. All right, just came upstairs to do some laundry. I'm showered and very out of breath. At this stage in pregnancy, the stairs just destroy me. And then carrying the laundry, I'm like, I need a second. All right, laundry. I have some editing to do. I'm about halfway through editing a vlog, so I need to finish that up and uh, get it all scheduled for tomorrow. So I'm gonna get this finished up, and then in just a couple hours here at 4.30, Kenzie is coming over and we're gonna go Christmas shopping together. There are a couple gifts I still need to get, and then um, all of the stocking stuffers for Stephen and Grace. But I, I feel like I've been more on top of my holiday shopping this year than the past few years. Kenzie and I usually always do kind of like a last minute Christmas shopping trip together. And I feel like usually I'm doing a lot more scrambling at this point, but I'm like, I've got, you know, most of the big things purchased. I'm like 90% done. And today we're going to finish everything up and then I will be ready for Christmas, except for actually wrapping everything because I still haven't done that. <laughs> All right. I just finished my final watch back of the vlog. It is exporting. It's good to go. Um, I also moved my laundry to the dryer not too long ago, so we're making progress on that too. It's been uh, a productive afternoon, although it was a very slow start to the day. I did eventually get to the things I needed to do, um, and I'm really excited to go shopping. I was just texting with Kenzie. I think we're going to get sushi before, which sounds amazing. I'm with Kenzie. We just got our sushi. This is, they call it the Vista veggie roll. It's like avocado, cream cheese, veggies, and then it's fried and they put spicy mayo, sriracha, and a jalapeno on top. So it's got like a little kick. So good. All right. We're starting with our stocking stuffers. I mean, that's the main thing yeah, that we're I doing need, in general. I, I haven't bought a single stocking stuffer thing yet. So. I got some hair clips for Grace and that is it. I want to get candy. <laughs> Harlan said she wants candy for Christmas. So. Oh, I got to remember to get Grace wants Reese's. Oh. So that'll probably be Target. But we're starting at Dollar Tree and Five Below. They're like right next to each other. And they usually have all the good stocking stuffers. Oh my gosh, these little... Christmas lollipops. So cute. I'm like, wait, we could split this up and 
Each kid gets a oh, snowman and a let's do that. and a, yeah, that's and a dollar. Oh my gosh, how cute are these? It's a little sticker book where you get to like put the eyes and the mouth and stuff on a little kid face. You get to decorate them. Grace will love that. And they have like unicorns and animals too. Grace usually loves these little like Dollar Tree character figurines, but I don't see a lot of the Disney ones. And she doesn't really know any like non-Disney characters. Wait, <laughs> sad baby him. What is this though? It doesn't matter. Oh, it's a paperweight. You're right, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's a paperweight though. You know what? I'm gonna hope we can find something Captain America at Five Below or Target. All these cute little painting sets. Okay, I'm gonna look through all the coloring books and pick one for Grace. Oh, Disney princess. That's a solid choice. Wait. What does she love more than princesses? <laughs> villains. villains. Grace loves all the Disney villains. Like she all, she just loves them. And uh, Disney villain merch for kids is lacking. Like she asked for a Cinderella's stepmother doll or a Mother Gothel doll for Christmas. Um, not quite as easy to find as like Rapunzel or Cinderella. So this is a win. Although I did find online a Mother Gothel doll. So she is getting that for Christmas. I'm gonna get her some new crayons too. You cleaned up here. I got did. Stuff. Got some candy, got some Arthur books. Dollar Tree always hits. Gotta love Dollar Tree. We're gonna go check out and then head next door to Five Below. Let's go. The little mini Squishmallows. Grace would love these, but I have I have put a halt to all stuffed animal buying because we just have way too many. Cute, oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> they have these little like pet carriers with a little like dog or a bunny inside. How funny would that be from Santa since Grace asked for a puppy? <laughs> Aww, There's your, aw, a dog. I think I might. I think I have to. And she loves like little at anything that goes inside something but else. That's also a life lesson. You got to be more specific, Grace. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it kind of looks like Bella. That's cute. Okay. And for a dollar, that's a yes. Oh, this one's like a little bunny. Like oh, that's a good idea. I'm gonna be looking for slippers for my mom then too. Oh my gosh, a little Disney princess light up microphone. Grace will pretend that anything is a microphone. A hairbrush, my camera tripod, she would love this. This is perfect for her stocking. Find anything good over here? They have some Marvel figures. Ooh, let's see who we can find. No Spider-Man or Captain America. Just went through every single one of those. Oh, this is so cute. A little Minnie Mouse car. It's hard not to go overboard because like there's so many little things that I know she would like love and like light up at if she opened it. But like, will it just be fun for Christmas and then be forgotten about? Or is it something that she's gonna play with a lot? Like the microphone, I know that she'll get like so much use out of. But the Minnie Mouse car, I'm like, oh, it's cute, it's fun, but like, for how long, you know? And I don't want to go overboard. I, w I don't want to just get everything. Right as I'm talking about trying not to get too much, what Kenzie walks up with for a dollar. That's a yes. That's a yes. That's a yes. That's a yes. Toss it in. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> well, we might need to trade up. Yeah, I, I think we might have to trade up. She is going to love this. But is this too big for a stocking stuffer? Because I already got her the Mother Gothel doll. No, have, to have them both peeking out the top. <laughs> her two favorite characters, Captain America and Mother Gothel. I love, too, that it's... Oh, there's a Spider-Man. I love Spider-Man. Yeah, get it for Harrison. I was gonna say, I, I love that these are like the same size as like her, you know, Barbies and like princess dolls, because then they'll all be able to play together. Who needs Ken when you have Captain America and Spider-Man? Lots of candy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> It's like a little lollipop cover. It's cute, but again, I'm gonna leave it since we're already getting the Captain America doll. We got the other lollipops. All the cute little Pez dispensers. You're goofy. Oh, that's cute. He's such a Mickey boy. I know. But if he, you already got him a lot of Mickey stuff. Maybe I'll get goofy for her. Oh, that's a good idea. Ken's, look at this gummy Lunchables. Actually, like, I love them. I'm like, I just want that for me, yeah. not even for the kids. <laughs> Wait. Gu Gummy mac and cheese and Oscar Mayer wheat. <laughs> oh my god! Why do I don't like one? <laughs> <laughs> Gummy sushi. Okay, I actually love that one. Gummy everything. That's like so fun. Well, I saw the little Krabby Patties because you remember Grace's Krabby Patty obsession last year. <laughs> we should. I feel like she would love like the novelty of one of the like 
gummy things that's like like the mac and cheese or something yeah. but i'm not sure which one i kind of want them just for fun right <laughs> should we get one and eat it in the car yeah, on the way to target probably. let's do it let's do it do you need to get one that you can't eat normally like bacon <laughs> <laughs> well i can't have sushi that's true because well and, and i don't need fish <laughs> yeah, let's get that one that's so cute let's do that that's so fun taste test coming in five seconds okay i'm getting grace the crabby patty little meal with the fries the burger the kelp smoothie it's so cute. They have so much like fun and different little candies here. Ooh, I'm gonna grab a couple Smarties for Grace. They're 15 cents each, so I love that I can just grab a couple to put in her stocking. Oh, and she loves little dum-dums like this. She always says she wants the blue ones, so let's just grab a couple blue ones. We cleaned up at five below. We did good. Okay, you ready for our second sushi date of the evening? I'm so excited. <laughs> it's like the rolls I wanna try in real life, but I don't like fish, so I'll never get to. Oh, and it's like a to-go box. It's so cute. Why is it so, so cute? cute? I can like, oh, I can like already oh, no. smell it. Our salmon roll. <laughs> oh, that one has like sour strips on the top. Though, yeah, this is so cute. Okay, wait, I need to take a picture of it. Look at this. So, so cute. cute. Okay, I kind of want this one first. Okay. You want to have the green one? Yeah. It's like a marshmallow. Oh, it's a marshmallow. Oh, cheers. <laughs> Way better than the real thing. Mm -hmm. Imagine like bringing this out on campus at school. <laughs> just, like, packed lunch. Mm, sour candy just. Really it does. Gets, it picked me up. I need. <laughs> okay, which one do we want to do next? I, what are these? Are they supposed to be like little fish eggs? Yeah. Want to try that one? Yeah. Oh. Uh, I don't like this one. Oh no, I actually like. It's kind of like nerds. Yeah, it's like a gummy cluster. Like a nerds rope. Are we gonna eat them all right now? I'm like, maybe we should save more for Let's later. Let's save some. And unlike real sushi, we can leave it in the car without it going bad. <laughs> That's like so cute and fun though. So cute. I'm so glad we went to Five Below. I feel like we got stuff that we wouldn't have gotten at Target. I'm like gonna come back here and yeah. get more like gummy food just cause it's fun. Have a whole gummy meal. Gummy ramen. We should get it for the girls when we get them together to like play restaurant with like the one that Harlan has. Like oh, have like yeah. gummy food that they can serve and like actually eat. When you said when we get together with the girls, I thought you meant like the team. And then you were like, when we play restaurant. <laughs> Is that a video I'm not aware of? But yes. When we get the girls together the girls. and just have some gummy treats, <laughs> some gummy mac and cheese. Grace and Harlan would love that though. I'm sorry. How pretty this is. I want Do they usually decorate it like this? I feel like not this well. So we were gonna go to Target, but we decided we'll save that for last because there's a couple places we want to go at this little mall here that close at eight and it's seven. So we've been wasting too much time eating gummy yeah. candy. <laughs> oh, I think it's closed. Oh, well, I think we're already too late for free people. It said eight online. Well, not going to free people. This is the second time we've tried to open a door that's <laughs> locked, and this is not good for my ego. <laughs> it is such a terrible it's feeling. It's so embarrassing. Just, hello? They might, I'm looking for like this certain style of like quilted bag that my sister-in-law Bethany wanted for Christmas, and I know they had one at Free People, but they might, I feel like that might be something they have at Anthropology. I, have, I, go I look there. have no clue. I saw them on Amazon, and to be honest, like without shipping, I'd be like, you're getting the Amazon one. <laughs> look at the twinkling Christmas tree. It's so pretty. All right, Anthropology. Apology. Oh, I just love all their home stuff. Like, I don't need any of it, but like, it's just so gorgeous. So cool. Lots of cute bags, but none in the style I'm looking for. How cute are these? The little initial necklaces. What if I got one for Megan with the their baby the boy's name? name? That was cute. <laughs> Can I, see looks I, this? I thought it was Doodle Bob, but I was like, <laughs> he wouldn't be at anthropology. <laughs> If it was Doodle Bob, I think I would have wanted it. <laughs> and it's backwards, not Doodle Bob. <laughs> All the jewelry here is so pretty. Okay, I'm also thinking instead of the purse, I could get something like home or kitchen for Bethany. Cause I can't remember if I said it, but the purse was for Bethany and she and Austin just moved in together like six months ago. So they're like very much in like, you know, putting together our home mode. Look at these wine glasses. They're like iridescent and they have like the gold trim on the top. These are gorgeous. Initially I was thinking like something in a green cause like their whole wedding was all, you know, very green and lush. But I don't know, those glasses are gorgeous. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna ruminate on that a little bit more. Um, we're walking over to Lululemon. I'm getting my other sister-in-law, Megan, a Lululemon belt bag, because that was one of the things on her list. And then I also got her, another thing she had asked for was like a bunch of nursing bras. So I got her like all of my favorite ones from when I was breastfeeding Grace. But I didn't wanna like just get 
get her nursing bras because like I don't know you know it's it's kind of for her but it's for the baby what she's doing for the baby so I also wanted to get her something that's really like just for her here are the belt bags this is the one she wanted like the nylon everywhere belt bag in black Perfect. I think I want to look through the men's stuff real quick for Steven too. I got him one single pair of Lululemon workout shorts like five years ago and that's still like all he wears. <laughs> all right, I looked through all the men's stuff. I'm getting these black license to train shorts for Steven. Okay, we're gonna pop into Urban Outfitters real quick because I feel like they might have that kind of like quilted trendy style bag. Look at that, I was right, quilted bag. But I think Bethany wanted like a white or a beige. Oh, they have these little ones too, in black and purple and silver. They scanned the item for me to see if it came in any other colors like online or something, but this is it. So I might just come back for the free people bag another day, cause that was like exact what she was looking for. And that would be fun for Grace too. We can come over here, pick a purse for Aunt Bethy. Grace has been picking her own Christmas gifts for everyone this year and she has been having such a blast. Although uh, she hasn't had the best track record with not telling everyone immediately. What she got them? That's so cute. Though. When we were with my parents last night, she goes, Grandy, Grandy, I bought you a present. It's that. And Grandy's like, don't, <laughs> don't tell me. <laughs> All right, Target. It's weird being here and having a bag in the front of the cart again instead of a kid. <laughs> Hello, Disney section. Okay, so Grace has a couple of these little mini Disney princess dolls. She has Tiana, Moana, and Rapunzel, I think. Oh, perfect. They have Belle. When she wrote her letter to Santa, she specifically put one of the little Belle dolls to be friends with her other ones. So this is perfect for the stocking. Okay, I have to find the little gummy lifesaver books for Steven. That's like a big childhood nostalgia thing for him. Oh, I see it. Yay! Sometimes these can be kind of hard to find. Not me saying that after there's like a whole shelf of them up here. But actually that's perfect because I want to get one for Grace too because Steven was telling her all about these so I feel like it'll be fun for both of them to get one. In their stocking also how cute are these little Mario cars that Kenzie got for her kids and a little Lego Friends diner set for Harlan. <laughs> I was just telling Kenzie, Kenzie's like, there's so many cute Disney uh, wrapping paper rolls. I was like, oh, we already picked all of ours out. And then I saw this Jack Skellington bag. So I think I'm gonna get this for Grace. Oh, you know what this is perfect for? Her Sally dress. Yeah. I'm gonna put her Sally dress in this. That's so cute. Oh, and you know what else I spy? The Reese's candy cane I wanted for Grace. You know what, we'll grab one for Steven as well. Perfect. Got your wrapping paper. It's a little sad beige baby. <laughs> <laughs> you the mean kids, you didn't get the princess one the and the Avengers one? their own, but for mom's wrapping, it's... I don't think that's sad beige baby. You have like dancing Santa. I mean, Christmas tree farm. It's a little, but it's fine. <laughs> Wouldn't expect anything less. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get Steven's beef jerky for his stocking. Not gonna find that in this section, but every year I put beef jerky in his stocking. <laughs> I think I just started doing it because it was like, oh, that's like a snack that he likes. And now it's become a tradition. So gotta get the beef jerky. Oh my gosh, I before I was a vegetarian, or I guess when I took a break from being a vegetarian <laughs> in college, these, the beef tender teriyaki bites, those were everything. Why, <laughs> why is my mouth watering? That's not what we're here for. Okay. For Steven. I can taste it. It's been like 10 years and I can taste it. <laughs> Treats for the doggies in their stockings. I'm gonna get this little toy for Bella. This is like right up her alley to just spend the whole day chewing on. Okay, I think we are wrapping things up. We got some really great stuff for the kids. I didn't get as much as I was hoping to for Steven, but I did get him like the candies and stuff and the beef jerky. Can't forget the beef jerky. <laughs> Um, but I think uh, I think Grace and I are gonna do one last little mall trip later this week I can look for a couple more things for him there. Oh, Ken, so you know what else I have to get before we go? The nail polish for Grace. I almost forgot that Yeah, you wanted the lip smackers for Harlan, right? I think those are in the same section. Look at all of these. Oh my gosh So many cute ones So cute. cute. <gasps> oh <laughs> My gosh, she she asked for makeup and I got her like a little eyeshadow palette set, but like <laughs> As a stocking stuffer. Oh my gosh. I feel like she doesn't need two though. Does Harrison want a spider-man one? Probably like we could go have these you want to? Yeah, we'll go have these 
Harrison can have a cute little Spider-Man chop. That's and look at it's like a little keychain. You can like put it on the that is really cute. backpack. Cute. Okay. And then Grace asked for some nail polish. I use the Sally Hansen Insta Dry on her so that it doesn't like take too long um, for the nails to dry, and that's worked pretty well. She has a pink already and a yellow. And she asked for purple or sparkly. And Jess already got her sparkly nail polish. So I think I'm gonna go for the purple. There's this one that's like kind of a lighter iridescent purple but also this one that's like a bright you know kind of rapunzel -y purple i think this this is probably the purple she was imagining all right and that is a wrap on grace's stocking and i think that's everything i wanted to get at target Ooh. what a good shopping I trip you like knocked everything out yeah i love target i do too you like thank you so much have a nice night another year of successful last minute christmas shopping My. together tradition minus the last minute <laughs> <laughs> maybe next year well you know what actually i think this year was less last minute than previously it, it was I feel like previously it's been like on the 23rd well all the other years i've never had to do any shopping i just come because fomo <laughs> But this, this year, year you got me a little. So yeah. Nice, nice job. Especially for the stockings. Yeah. And I feel like we got great stuff oh, for the stockings. I'm like most excited for the stockings. Yeah, me too. And that's fun too because that's like the first thing. Yeah. That Would they get to like, wake up to. Yeah. I think we fun. make good Santas. We do. <laughs> Excellent. All right. Back home now. And I was just going through all the purchases, you know, organizing the stocking stuffers. And I feel so good about everything that I got. Also, um, I have the uh, the Mother Gothel toy here that I mentioned, so I figured I'll take it out of like the shipping box, show you guys, and put it put it with the other Santa gifts. I thought, oh, it opens up. I was gonna say I thought you'd be able to see Mother Gothel. Oh my gosh, Grace is gonna be so excited. <laughs> I kind of feel like I should take her out of the box so I can put her in the stocking. Like do the same with the Captain America doll too. Cause I think especially at, you know, two and a half, it's a lot more exciting to like see the toy and take that out of the stocking than just see the box. There she is, Grace's very own Mother Gothel doll. <laughs> it's every two year old's dream, right? <laughs> Not just mine. How cute, it comes with this little basket too with the magic golden flower. Okay, I'm gonna put this in the bag with all of the stocking stuffers I got today. And then also these little Mickey hair clips that I showed in a previous vlog. Oh, you know what? While we're at it, let's take Captain America out of his box too. I mean, his box is a little more exciting. The thing about the, the Mother Gothel box is it was like, it was more like, you know, understated with just like the Disney villains on it. Whereas this one has like the picture of Captain America and the Avengers logo. You know what? He's gonna stay in the box. Cause this box I think will be exciting for Grace. <laughs> so those and what I bought today that is going in her stocking that's coming from Santa. What I also have here, um, what I'm gonna wrap tonight are the gifts from us to Grace. So I'll go through those with you guys too before I do the wrapping, show you uh, what we got our toddler for Christmas this year. So we did three gifts, one that Steven chose, one that I chose, and then uh, like the bigger, you know, kind of joint gift. So from Steven, Grace is getting four of these Lego brickhead figurines. These are the same style that they were building together previously and they had so much fun. So Steven picked these ones out for her. And then I picked this Sally dress for Grace. I showed this in a previous vlog since she loves Nightmare Before Christmas. And I'm pairing something else with this as like, one combined gift. Grace had asked for makeup for Christmas this year. She loves playing with my makeup and she wanted to get some of her own. And at first I was looking at like the kids, you know, kids makeup sets. But the more I was looking into it, I was like, there is some not great stuff in the ingredients in these. Like you'd think that, you know, kids makeup would be, you know, specially formulated, maybe, you know, less harsh ingredients, things that won't irritate their skin. But the more I looked into it, I was like, I think probably the best bet is just to get her like some actual makeup from like a good and safe brand, but you know, nothing too fancy. So that's what I ended up ordering for her. And that is in the mail. So I'm gonna be putting those together and these are gonna go in that Jack Skellington bag. So I can just do that now and add the makeup when it gets here. And then Grace's big present. It's not quite as easy to see here because everything's like in pieces, but I'll put a picture right here. We got her the Little People Disneyland set. So freaking cute. It has like a little 
Dumbo ride that all the little people figurines can ride in. And this attaches on. This is like a little roller coaster ride. It comes with a little Mickey and Minnie. It's got a slide. This, Steven and I both were like, this is like the perfect thing for her right now. She's like super into pretend play and she has a lot of those different little people figurines already and those will all work with this set. It's just so cute. It's even got little Tinkerbell flying around on the top. So that is the big gift that we picked for Grace. And that's everything that we got her for Christmas this year. We've also been, you know, coordinating with our families to make sure that we didn't get anything that they had already gotten her. Like the, the thing that Grace has talked about probably the most leading up to Christmas is a Barbie house. And my parents got that for her. They got her like a, a Barbie camper house thing. And it's just, it's so much fun to shop for kids. Oh my gosh. I, I had such a blast shopping for her this year. And you know, tonight doing all the stocking stuffers with Kenzie. And I just can't, I can't wait to see her reaction to everything. But all right, I am going to do a little bit of wrapping. I'm pretty tired, but I want to wrap at least Grace's presents tonight. Cause the other, pre you know, presents for everyone else, I can wrap when I'm with her, but these ones I have to do while she's asleep. So I think now's a good time. <laughs> All right, I am done for tonight. I am tired, I'm going to bed and ending this vlog. So thank you for watching and we'll see you day after tomorrow for the last Vlogmas. Bye.